to Peggy Daily Success Strategies. Thanks for being with me today. What I want to talk about today is the words that you use and talk about why they matter so much. I want to share a story of Jesse Isler. Now, if you don't know Jesse, he's an amazing guy. You've got to learn more about him, read his books, um, Living with a Seal, his new book, Living with the Monks. Go check him out. He's just an amazing guy, does some crazy things. So, Jesse wanted to run a 100 mile race. And in his training, he just couldn't get past, I think it was the 33 mile mark. Mentally and physically, he was just breaking down at that point. So what does he do? He goes and hires Chad to come live with him and train him. Chad's a Navy SEAL. So long story short, they get to this race, it's 100 miles. Jesse gets to mile 74 and he is done. He is broken. He's got hypothermia and he's finished. Right then, Chad runs up next to him and says, Hey, Jesse, this is amazing. Nobody knows this, but guess what? I don't get tired. He says, Come on, say it, Jesse. Tell me you don't get tired. He says, I don't get tired. No, Jesse, tell me like you mean it. Tell me, come on. He says, I don't get tired, Chad. And then Jesse says they went over to the aid station. They, get, they got some pasta there and different things. And Jesse says to the guy, Sir, my name's Jesse. This might sound crazy, but we don't get tired. And they take off again. Mile 77, Chad says, you tired? I don't get tired, Chad. Mile 80, tired? Nope, easy day. Mile 96, you tired? No, I got this. Mile 100, they finished. They ran a 100 mile race. Now, the words that you speak to yourself are so important. The words that you speak out loud are so important. And I want you to put this in perspective of yourself, you know, do you come home every day, I hate my job? Do you tell your spouse every day that you hate your job? Do you come home and tell your parents you hate school? The words we speak to ourselves are incredibly powerful. They can push us or they can stop us. They can really make all the difference in your success. And, you know, what are the words you're saying to other people? Why not be Chad? Why not be the one that helps those around you to push past their own limiting beliefs, to push past their own self-talk and help them achieve their goals. I want you to pay a lot of attention to that this week. Listen to the words you're saying to yourself. Listen to your language. Listen to the things you're saying to other people and make a change. Our self-talk is such an important thing. The language we use is so important. Make a change so your subconscious and your conscious will believe the things that you need to so that you're gonna find success. Hopefully this is helpful for you. Share this with someone that needs to change their self-talk, needs to change the words that they use, and they can take a lesson from this and change their outcomes. You know, I'm working with a lot of individuals right now that these are the things that they're finding success with. They're finding success by changing some of their success habits and changing some of their daily routine. If you need to look at a way to get yourself to another level, if you need to look at a way to really accelerate past a sticking point that you're at right now, let's jump on a free strategy call and we'll figure out what you need to do and I'll help you get started on that. So send me a DM or email me at jeff at jeffhagey.com and we'll get going there. Again, I've talked about it before. If you don't have your clear, definite, written out plans and goals set, Make sure to go get my free momentum series so that you can get the clarity on that and really have a direction on where you need to go. So go to jeffhagey.com slash momentum and you can get that for free. Thanks for being with me. Again, please share this with someone that could use it and improve their self-talk and improve the language they're using. I'll be back with you tomorrow.